fascinating thing. We often like to think of it as something that just is. But too many people let the past determine who they are. When true greatness is determined by how one deals with the present. I'm helping you. I have one condition. Yeah. No more quitting. Time is a gift, I say. What are you gonna do with yours? What is up guys? It's your boy Hercules and we are back at it again. So Marvel, DC, and other comic book companies are struggling to sell their woke piece of trash comics. And that, even that, their own writers, the people that are writing these piece of trash comics are coming out the people that are doing the the art for these comics are coming out online revealing that their sales are low are bad but they seem to not understand why why are they failing but i got the answer for you guys you guys keep bashing your fans you cater to the woke crazy leftist mob which they don't have any money. They're broke, lunatics. You put woke propaganda in your comics when nobody wants that. Yeah, back in the day we had politics, but guess what? Back in the day, we were at war with Germany. We were at war with other places. So it makes sense why you wanted this. You wanted this to get people excited and to talk about what's going on in the real world. You take your comics and you make fun of your characters. You kill off your goddamn characters. You talk shit to your fans. You call them hillbillies. If you don't, guys don't know, the a Marvel writer, I believe, called the Punisher's films as hillbillies. Good luck selling books because they love a certain superhero. So you make that hero a cuck sad pathetic has been and you wonder why you can't get any sales when you have a guy like eric d july who created isom and now drop isom 2 and he's making millions of dollars and you wonder why you're failing because you know why he's making money you can say, oh, well, he has an, an audience already. Guess what? You have an audience, too. When you slap the logo Marvel Comics, it used to mean something. People would go out and support you. When you slap the DC Comics, people would go out and support you. Nowadays, when you slap Marvel Comics, when you slap DC Comics, you're not known as the comic book greatness that you used to be you're just another woke ass company and you're struggling to sell books you're struggling to have any i guess you can say cash flow for your company and this doesn't just stay with marvel and dc there are other companies out there that are also doing this that can't fulfill any um 
any products that they claim they will. Uh, they just keep making Kickstarter, uh, kick, Kickstarter after Kickstarter after Kickstarter, and they slap a famous person thinking that that's gonna do anything. It's not gonna do anything. When you have a guy like Eric D. July who, who takes his own money, prints out the books already, and has them ready to ship it out to, their, to the fans, that's how you do it. That's why he's succeeding because he's not putting any any political nonsense. He's just going out there, created this world, created these heroes. Whether you whether you think his story is good or you think it's bad, doesn't fucking matter. Guess what? If you think it's trash, guess what? Nobody cares because he's making money. He he found his community and it's working. It's working a lot better than what Marvel and DC are doing. He's gonna stay relevant longer than Marvel and DC Comics. Can DC and uh, Marvel and all these other companies change? Yes, you can. But it has to start with your woke writers. You get rid of them, you bring in people that just wanna tell great stories. They wanna entertain people. That is the issue. Why can't you entertain people all you can do and all you do is push political propaganda. People don't want that. And you wonder why you're failing? That is why. If you wanna know how to succeed, there is one guy out there who is proving you how to do it. And he's an independent comic book creator. And that man is Eric D. July. Young Ripper, Ripperverse, Isom 1 and 2 available now. Let's go.